Hi, I'm Jimmy Lindsay and I'm talking to you. Now I've been involved in reggae music from 1962 and I'm proud to be able to say that I'm one of many hundred individuals in the UK that strived to perpetuate the culture of black music within the United Kingdom. Now I'm not claiming that I was the only one, but I was a part of it. And I do feel proud to have been a part of it. But what's happening now within black music? And first of all, I'm going to deal with the culture of dancehall and the music of Jamaica. Now, when I look back and I see what's happening within the culture at the moment, I am totally disappointed. I feel insulted and embarrassed by what's happening within dancehall at the moment. And I feel that conscious people need to stand up and say something about what's happening. And I'm conscious about our situation. And this is why I'd like to invite you to spend a little time to listen to what I have to say. Now, reggae music is about bringing people together. It's about inspiring people. It's about motivating people. It's not about disrespecting our black women. It's not about encouraging young men to go and kill one another. That's what's happening to our culture. That's what's happening to our music at the moment. And I believe that people who are conscious need to stand against this. We need to st take a stand and say, no, enough is enough. Let's get rid of this undercurrent within the culture of reggae music. Now, first of all, I'm going to deal with it the situation with dancehall. Eventually, initially, when dancehall started, it was fun. It was about dancing and movement and enjoying yourself. But now, it's degenerated. Total slackness and pornography. It's about encouraging young men to go out there and kill one another. It's about totally disrespecting black women. When we start to depict our women as bitches, oars, and brainless sex objects, what does that say to us as a people, as a nation, as black people? Where's our integrity? When we start to decimate the culture. I've been involved in the music from 19... 62 within the United Kingdom and I'm one of many hundreds of musicians and singers and players of instrument that promoted and brought home black music to the United Kingdom to the level where the white youths started to embracing it and it was from their embracement of our music that we forced institutions like the BBC to recognize what we were doing and starting to play our music. What dancehall is doing now is decimating that culture and that is what I'm standing up against. Recently, I saw a comment by Luciano, which I must say I've got a lot of respect for him. He's one of the few Jamaican artists that's actually getting up, standing up, and demanding a change to the situation. Reggae music should be about encouraging people to stand up for their rights. It should be about encouraging people to express themselves. It's about truth and right. 
what dance hall has done is degenerated reggae music to total slackness, sex and violence culture. And that's not what it's about. I've never heard Bob Marley, Burning Spear, John Ald, Dennis Brown, or any Gregory Isaac, you know? I've never heard any one of those artists come out with songs that encourage young men to go and kill one another or depict our black, our women, not just black women, but all women as bitches, oars, and senseless sex objects. There is more to the culture of reggae music than that. And the artists and the promoters and the people that promote this element, this culture, are doing a total disrespect, not only to myself, but to the memory of the really great artists that have emerged out of reggae music. That's why I've got so much respect and I'm going to keep bigging up people like Luciano who are brave enough to come up and stand out and say, well, look, this is wrong. Reggae music doesn't need that. I don't want to be associated with these gutter people. I'm an artist within reggae music and across other genres of music. But when people listen to reggae music, they're going to believe that I am a part of it. They're going to believe that Luciano is a part of it. They're going to believe that Chronic is a part of it. And other artists like Etiana and Queen Africa, people that I have a lot of respect for because of their rejection of this culture. We need to do something. Not just me, but you. You need to do something about it. If you really believe in the culture of reggae music, if you want it to progress, you need to reject this gutter, this pornography culture that individuals are trying to introduce within the culture of reggae music because it has no place there whatsoever. I posted a, uh, a post on Facebook, which I had a tremendous response to. And a lot of people were talking about the government of Jamaica and that they should be doing something to alleviate the situation. And I would agree with most of you. The problem is, most of the people that make up the Jamaican government themselves should be imprisoned because they are the ones that have promoted this violence. They are the ones that have been importing the guns into Jamaica and using angry belly politics to encourage youth to go out there and kill one another. My question to these youth, don't you have a brain in your head? Can't you understand how you're being used and manipulated by these politicians? Fortunately, one or two of you have brains in your heads. One or two of you have discovered what's happening and have rejected this. But unfortunately, there are too many that are still caught up with this hungry belly politics. I look on Facebook and I see young girls, 12, 13 years old, or maybe younger. And what are they doing? This spread our out culture. There's got to be more than that to our music. As a community, as a society, it takes more than parents to bring up a child. It takes a community. It needs us all to be responsible and when I see images like that, I'm appalled. Why do we need to do that? It's not necessary. We need to inform and educate our young people in a positive way because we all, at the end of the day, have that responsibility. 
And it doesn't matter whether you're a parent or not. You're an adult. You have a responsibility towards our children because at the end of the day, our children and young people are our future. So if we don't nurture them, what is the future for us? Now, I've been talking about dancehall, but remember, my genre of music stretches beyond that. Because in my early stages, I was also involved in soul music. And as I've said, black music is my genre. And I've been a positive part of that from 1962. So now I'm going to talk about the hip hop and the gangster, the bitches and the oars, and the brainless sex objects. And what I'd like to ask, I'd like to ask Jay-Z, I'd like to ask Kanye West, and I'd like to ask 50 Cent, the bitches, the oars, and the senseless, breath, the senseless brain objects that you talk about, is it your mother? Is it the woman you lie down with at night? Is it your daughter, your niece, your auntie? Tell me. Tell the people. Who is it? Who are the bitches, the oars, and the senseless brain, the, the brainless sense, sex objects that you talk about? Who are they? Because if you're using it in a general terms, then it also includes the woman that you're lying down with at night. It also includes your mother, your grandmother. Why do you think that because of your fame and your fortune, you have a right to depict my mother, my sister, my daughter, my auntie, my niece as a bitch, a whore, or a sense, brainless sense object? So you're not talking about my family. And if you're using it in a general term, you're talking also about the woman that you lie down with at night. So therefore, my question to all these women out there, where is your sense of morality? Where is your integrity? Where is your self-esteem? If you, Beyonce, Kadassian girl, whatever you are, if you are going to lie down with a man that depicts you as a bitch, a whore, and a brainless sex object, what does that make you? Where is your pride? Where is your integrity as a woman? And there's one thing that we should all remember. At the end of the day, it was a woman that gave birth to all of us. So when we disrespect one woman, we disrespect all. Now before people start to accuse me of having different standard, because, yes, I put out a song that was called The Bitch Is Dead. And I know a lot of people may want to criticize me about that. The difference between my bitch is dead and the way how you, the boy, 50 Cent, the boy, Jay-Z, and the boy, Kanye West. I am not generalizing it. I am not calling all women bitches. I am calling one particular woman a bitch, which was Margaret Thatcher, the British Prime Minister. And when you look up the history, you will understand why I called her a bitch, why she determined that, bl that white police officers could read the mind of black youths and know they're about to commit a crime and therefore send them to jail. That's why I call her a bitch, and I will stand by that. But I will never, ever refer to women generally as bitch, 
because at the end of the day, it was a woman that pushed me out of her womb. And I respect that. And for all you young women out there that are supporting all this pornography, you have to check yourselves. Because at the end of the day, if you don't respect yourself, there's no man that's going to respect you. And he will continue to treat you like a bitch, like a whore, like a brainless sex object. So, once again, I'm going to ask Beyonce and the Cardassian woman and 50 Cent's woman, are you a bitch? Are you a whore? Are you a brainless sex object? And if you're not, why do you put up with your man depicting you as such? I'm out.